We're at 3D Robotics and we're talking to Roger about the their new product, the Solo. Or has it been released? Has it been out for a while or did you just announce it here well, at NAB? We just announced it here at NAB on All Monday. Right. It releases, uh, it starts shipping the last week of May. It'll be available in 400 Best Buys across the country. Okay. B&H, DSLR Pros, a whole bunch of other retailers. And then into June, July, we start going international. So one, one of the biggest movements with uh, quadcopters, drones, uh, multi-copters, whatever, whatever you want to say it, yeah. uh, has been making it more accessible to the amateur. Uh, buy, ready to fly, buy it in a box, you just take it out, put the battery in, and, and uh, make it fly. What about the Solo uh, makes it easy to get started with flying? Well, I mean, it's uh, hard to find a place to begin, uh, but I'll start with a broad term of intelligence. Okay. Yeah, and it's really, it really does make it easy. Solo can handle so much of the flying that it abstracts the user from having to do that. And you can focus, instead of flying, on getting the shot, right? It enables you to get right. great shots easily and consistently. You don't even have to know how to fly it to start making movies with Solo. And it, the computers enable real-time flight scripting. It's pretty magical. Yeah, yeah it just make it a tool and so it gets out of the way and you don't have to be too complicated with it. Yeah, uh, You're absolutely. just able to concentrate on your cinematography. Yeah, um, you know, if you're a director and you're setting up a scene, you don't have to work the camera, you don't have to work the dollies, you don't have to be the crane operator. You, know, you have a crew to do all that stuff for you, right? You don't have to master all of these skills. So why should aerial photography and aerial filmmaking be any different? Solo is your camera crew. Solo masters the skills of flying so you don't have to. And you can be creative and realize your vision without practicing for months or years. Okay. What other key features are you putting into the Solo that, uh, that are... Um that make it so easy to fly? Well, I mean, again, a uh, simple answer is computers. It's got two computers. Uh, there's one one gigahertz Linux computer in the copter and another one gigahertz Linux computer in the controller. And okay. those work with the autopilot and the gimbal to create some really amazing and sophisticated autonomous features, right? That makes it automatic. But it also enables you to pull HD wireless video straight from the GoPro, okay. right? Directly wirelessly to your iOS or your Android device, whatever okay. it is, clip to your controller, wirelessly up to half mile away. No other drone on the planet can do that. So uh, half mile you said system. for range on that? Yeah, half mile okay. range, and you get command and control a little bit farther than that, but at 720p, you can record straight to your camera roll. Okay. Why are you doing it? For instant social sharing or to uh, share in the field so you can review footage without having to land the copter. Does that have a uh, HUD baked into it when you record that video or is it a clean feed? Yeah, it's it's coming, I mean it's pulled straight from the GoPro, it goes okay. straight to your controller, bounces up and records right onto your right onto your camera phone through our app. You just don't have to go to third party, it's okay. everything is straight through us. We've worked with GoPro to make this stuff possible. All right. GoPro made the gimbal with us, they helped us design it, gave us full access to your GoPro. You can start and stop recording while you're flying. Okay. You can take pictures while you're flying. Flying. That means that you don't have these massive files to deal with in post. I wanted a 20 second shot, but I've got 20 minutes of footage. No more of that. Uh, you can control all the GoPro settings. You can change uh, the frame rate in real right. time. Awesome. You can change like white balancing or something. Like whatever you want to do, Solo enables you to do it through the GoPro. And does yeah. the gimbal? Uh, is the gimbal included with the package, or do you have to buy it right, separately? So, yeah, it's 9.99 for the copter and the controller, and you get the app also with that. And you get okay. an app based flight simulator so that which is can, great yeah, yeah and you can practice flying so you don't wreck your thousand dollars in the first five minutes that you fly right. which is super crucial but yeah so that's what you get for 999 you okay. also get the GoPro mount all right for 999 and so it's the frame mount it's their mount you can hook up the GoPro and that means that you can start pulling the same thing though wireless HD video to your mobile device right okay. you get that all so that's all built in that's okay. all built in on the box and if you want that sophisticated camera control you want to get that rock steady GoPro footage, mm -hmm. and you want those smart shots and all those automated features. That's when you get our intelligent gimbal, okay. and that's what communicates with the, the autopilot and the, uh, the computers. And that's three ninety nine extra okay. for that. But again, we worked with GoPro for that. Again, what's exciting is our gimbal bay is completely open. So if someone else wants to develop a gimbal for another camera, yeah. you're not locked into GoPro. It's a completely okay. open platform. So we're not locked into a camera. Good, right? If you want to get the better GoPro, and GoPro five comes out and right. shoots in like three D X ray vision or yeah. whatever, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, Solo will do that. Your Solo gets better. Okay. Someone makes a Black Magic gimbal. Yeah, Solo Black Magic. You don't have to buy that new copter. It's just platform. Okay. It enables innovation. Yeah. So now uh, the the gimbal. Uh, what what GoPro does it work with currently? Is it just the four? Is it the three and yeah, the four? Cool. Good question. Yeah, yeah it's uh, fully compatible with Hero Three Plus and Hero Four. Okay. And that gets you all that GoPro control. It also charges your GoPro while you fly, so all your right. battery doesn't die. So it's Hero Three Plus, Hero Four, Black Silver, right? And you can shoot in 4K, whatever. Uh, but it works with the Hero Three. 
you just don't get that full experience with the Hero 3. But yeah, you, okay. can, you can pull video with the Hero 3 sure. too. Yeah. All right, and speaking of the batteries, what kind of flight time are you getting uh, with your unit? Yeah, full up, fully loaded, 20 minutes, which is pretty great. Okay. And then you get 25. With the gimbal and the with GoPro? With the gimbal and the GoPro, and you get 25 if you just want to get up there and rip around. And okay. Everything goes 55 miles an hour, so nice. yeah, you can, oh, you can, get, you can book to. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, what kind of battery are you using? Is this something that you've uh, made proprietary with an easy charge system? Is it just a LiPo 3-cell? or? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's LiPo, but it's it's our battery. It's a smart battery, okay. actually. So the battery can communicate with the computer and with your controller. So your controller will buzz. Yeah. It could give you some haptic feedback when you start running low. Uh, the copter will come back on its own because it knows how long it'll take to get back to you. Like, oh, man, you're running low battery. You're not bringing me home. i got to take things into my own hands and save you your battery. Yeah, so it's a smart battery. It's a uh, 3DR's solo smart battery. Uh, it takes 45 minutes to charge the okay. thing. Yeah, and then it's rechargeable. You can get extra batteries for 150. 150, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, and uh, with the 3D simulator, you're using the controller that comes with the solo, yeah. right? Yeah, it's really crazy. Yeah, it's the uh, solo. It, the controls actually feed right into that simulator on it's app based. It's going to yeah. be right on your phone, so you can just sit there and it's actually fun. So I mean, like you can just right. practice flying. Whenever you can start learning to do it, like even when you get more confident where you can fly normally, you could even try to do some more tricky shots Absolutely. and without worrying about crashing it, yeah, without risking your investment to do it. You're not yeah. taking a thousand dollars up to say, Oh man, I think I try to do these figure yeah. eights or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah try on your controller first. Uh, we also have a pause button, All right, built into the controller, so it's right there. And if you are so it'll just hover and hold, yeah, okay. if you're turned around and you don't know your orientation or you're drifting towards a building and you're not sure which way to hit it, you can hit the Wrong way, it's going to go right into that building. Okay. You just press pause, stops it immediately, and hovers. You can regain your bearings. If you can't regain your bearings and you still don't want to touch anything, you just press return home and land, okay. and it comes one button and lands right where it took off. All right. But, all right, so we also know about uh, you can't ignore the fact that sometimes things go wrong. I mean, these things are defying gravity. Right. Right. And we've all heard about A lot flyaways, of sensitive. Yeah, exactly. Right? And like flyaway, and flyaway support has been traditionally pretty terrible in the industry. Yeah. And so so how do we solve that problem? And so we also solved that problem with computers. I mean, we didn't just put computers in the drone, but like there's a computer in your controller, right, that takes photographs 10 times a second of flight data. So it saves flight data 10 times every second on 500 parameters, which is like super extensive, right, record of your flight. So if you're flying solo and you press to the left, and Solo says, you know what, I'm not going to go to the left, I'm going to go instead to this volcano over to the right, <laughs> right, yeah. it takes off, or if, yeah. it, if you fly by a cell phone tower, and it takes that signal and it just goes, and mm -hmm. it's gone, you don't know where it went. Traditionally, all that information is saved to the autopilot, which is on board the copter. Um, that's how other drone companies do it. That's how we used to do it also. But now we can save all that information to the controller, to the black box in your hand. Okay. So even if you lose the copter, mm -hmm. we can still give you flyaway support. So what okay. will happen is a little notice will pop up in your app mm -hmm. when the solo is, you know, cooking in the lava. It <laughs> says, you know, it seems like you've had a problem. Uh -huh. You want to send your information to customer support. You say, obviously I do. And it'll send that entire last flight, all of that flight data, directly to customer support wirelessly right where you are okay. immediately. And then customer support, well, like they can call you if you want them to call. They'll email you if you want them to email you. Wow. But they can see that flight data. They can share it with you. You guys can look at it together. Right? Cool. So it's like, oh, okay. Obviously, we see that this was our fault. Right. You know, and we can see that even if you don't have the craft, we owe you one. Okay. So here's your new solo. Oh, nice. we also see you had a gimbal on there. Here's your new gimbal. So oh, take we the also proof see of that, burden of, yeah, yeah, we also see you had a GoPro Hero 4 on there. Mm -hmm. as we can see it in the data. Here's full credit for a new GoPro Hero cool. 4. We can replace everything that you use. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Like I was stumbling over before, you can take the, yeah. the burden of proof off of that was your fault, uh, off the customer, and they don't have to try to explain it. Yeah, absolutely. It. Yeah. Burden of proof, that's a great way to that's yeah. great way to prove it. Right? Innocent until proven guilty. Right. Yeah, so that's, that's cool. That's, that's really nice. Look at it. Yeah, not uh, your fault unless we can see it. Now, say a less catastrophic thing happens where it maybe goes into a tree yeah. instead of a volcano. Sure. Is there any kind of tracking? Um, yeah. Built into that, where you could find your device if you lost and it crashed, if it was still on, are you able to use the uh, data that's 
going on between the control headset, the handset, and the craft? Can you track it where to find yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, um, we don't have that capability currently, but okay. I mean, that's clearly a theoretical possibility. It would be easy enough to uh, to program that sort of okay. Yeah, capability. So you get a royalty on that when you implement it, it or sure. now that we gave you it's, the idea, it's on no, record <laughs> too, right? Public record. Yeah. No, but um, you know, if your solo is lost, if you do lose it, and it's our fault that you lost it, yeah, and you can show that to us, okay, you know, and again, like we can make that right by you. So the right whole on. thing is like, don't worry about losing the copter and don't worry about even buying the thing because uh, in addition to all of this stuff, you give a 30 day money back guarantee. All right. So, you know, whatever. All right, I wanted to talk a little bit about the, it's obviously called the Solo. So what about, what makes it Solo? Solo, it's just all in one. I mean, that's, that's the name, right? So it's like, it's a two man camera system, a two man, aerial camera system all in one it's got these different levels of autonomy so solo if you want to fly solo if you want it to go do everything on its own it can you can set up a keyframe here you press a solo memorizes that keyframe you fly up you set the end of your scene over here keyframe B right that's your beginning and your end of your story the beginning of your scene the beginning of your shot however you want to think about blocking it and then solo is locked onto a cable there so you have two choices you can do the autonomy yourself you can uh, work the camera, be spontaneous with it, right? Yeah. And have Solo be like, all right, I'm the other man flying. Mm -hmm. Or you can let Solo do the whole thing. It's like a no man camera system. Yeah. You just press play, Solo can ease from one to the other at any speed that you tell it to. Yeah, so you don't need two camera operators. You can control the camera, or you can control the copter, or you can control both, or you can control neither. Control none. Yeah. Yeah, is it, it, it tracks you too. You can set up to track you, right? Absolutely, if you want to go completely hands-free, it's got follow. So follow mode is another smart shot. You just press follow, and Solo mm -hmm. is locked onto your uh, GPS device and your controller. Okay. If you want to go, like, say, off-roading, right, just put that up on your dashboard, hit follow, and Solo will go with you, and it, like, hauls wow. at 55 miles at, like, highway speed, right? Uh, and you can also control it with your finger. So you control the arc that Solo's following you. You can control how it's moving. You could have it orbit as you're moving, so you're on this one vector, and then here's Solo wrapping around you as you go. Okay. So incredibly sophisticated shots, you know, like, really dynamic aerial... Yeah, just cinema. Do you have to set it at an altitude where there's no obstacles, does, or does it know when there's obstacles in the it way? It doesn't have sense and avoid, so yeah, you have to pay attention, like, oh man, I'm going to be flying through this forest canopy, I should make sure that Solo's at that altitude, but that altitude is adjustable with a fingertip. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's orbit mode too, which pops a radius around, say, a lighthouse, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, Solo is locked onto that orbit, you can control it, Solo can control itself, but you can also, with your fingertip, adjust the radius, okay. adjust the altitude in right. real time. Yeah, everything is fully Right from that app. Fully customizable. Yeah, That's you, just, cool. you can just swipe it out, swipe it in. Yeah. And one last question with the gimbal: Is it two axis stabilized, three axis three. stabilized? Three. Yeah, three okay. axis stabilization, and um, you know, it, the legs don't retract, right? right? So we don't have that mechanical uh, look at the point of failure like built in. So how do we keep the legs out of the shot because you're panning all the time, right? right? Well, you're not just panning the camera; you're actually like panning the copter. All right. So the copter is aware of exactly where the GoPro is facing at all times and it adjusts itself accordingly. So okay. even if you're like hitting, a, you know, yawing really hard, but you're hitting this direction, mm -hmm. Solo actually pans itself. So instead of doing, because it's hard to yaw sometimes and get that nice. Oh yeah. So you kind of built that in to. Built it in. It's smoothing it's, it out. Yeah, That's it's cool. spatial recognition, you know, it's spatial right. memory. It's truly, and you know, smart, it all comes down to smart. That is the word for everything that Solo does. Yeah. All right, awesome. Where can people find more information about cool. the Solo? Uh, go to 3dr.com and you can just read up on all that stuff that I was just yammering about yeah, yeah and uh, take your time and watch some videos our launch videos are pretty mind-blowing so yeah, yeah all right just check it out there. awesome thanks, a lot. thanks roger yeah, thanks for your time hey thank you very much thanks to our sponsors for making our nab coverage possible